So this adds just a little bit of ass to it is uh, what I would normally say. If there's anyone who knows how to make hard hitting and great sounding drums, it's multi-platinum producer and mix engineer DJ Swivel. After engineering countless legendary songs for artists like Jay-Z and Beyonce, he went on to become a mix engineer and work with artists like The Chainsmokers, BTS, Dua Lipa, and Lil Nas X. In today's video, I'll be breaking down some of his signature mixing techniques, as well as taking a look at his new plug and click boom, which makes getting incredible sounding drums super easy. One thing commonly overlooked when mixing software drums is the phase relationship between different low end elements. If this part of the process is overlooked, it will cause your low end to sound super weak. Take a look how DJ Swivel adjusts his drums to ensure they're in phase. A lot of times when I'm layering kicks to 808s, I'll zoom in and I will nudge. I'll nudge the kick a little bit around by milliseconds, one or two forward, one or two back, just to see where, wh what is that perfect timing that makes it them hit and work best together. So if I move this even a few milliseconds to the left, it's not gonna hit the same way. Uh, and so that's something that I frequently do uh, and I think a lot of producers do. Some of you guys might do that as well. I've got two kick drums. This blue one sounds like this, and the red one sounds like this, and together they sound like this. If you zoom into the waveforms, you'll see they kind of line up in the beginning, but they don't stay lined up. They go out of phase here. To fix, we can break this little section and just nudge it over so it roughly lines up. Now we add our little cross fades, and it sounds like this. Now you may not be able to hear it here, but I promise you it works, try it. One of DJ Swivel's signature tools for getting great sounding drums is transient shaping. Recently he designed the best transient shaper I've ever used called Click Boom. Let me show you guys just how versatile this plugin is while mixing drums. So here we have this drum loop with a pretty short 808 and there's no kick. Personally I think it sounds a bit dull, so let's spice it up using Click Boom. I'm gonna start off here using the Click algorithm. Turning up the gain on Click will boost shorter and higher frequency transients. Because there's no kick, I want the 808 to have some more attack, so this is perfect. Here I have a crunch control which can add some saturation to the transients. We can then adjust the length of the click algorithm. A longer length gives us a sound with more decay while a shorter length gives us more poppy sound. I think it sounds best here at a medium length. There's also a smooth button which creates a smoother transition between the different transient algorithms and a sensitivity knob which determines what the plugin detects as a transient. There's then a tail algorithm which turns up or down portions that aren't detected as transients. I think it makes the 808 sound a bit fatter when I turn it up, so I'm going to do that. Now on the right side there's a boom algorithm. The boom algorithm controls longer and lower frequency transients. I like how it fattens up this 808 and makes it more kick-like. And adding a bit of crunch will certainly not hurt. Now here we have another section of the beat where we have kick and 808 hitting at the same time. In some places it sounds a bit muddy, especially when the kick hits at the same time as the 808, so let's clean this up with the click boom. First I'm going to make the kick more defined when compared to the 808 by adding a bit of top end information and really bringing out that top end attack. One thing that's great about click boom is it lets you select the frequency range that the algorithm is operating. In this case I just want the top end attack, so I'm going to isolate that upper mid range area. And here I'm also going to bring down the tail to make some room for the 808. Now let's tweak the 808 a bit. Here I'm going to make space for the kick and turn down the low end click section. I'm going to add a bit of tail. Finally I'm going to use the boom algorithm to carve out space for the kick. Now here I am on the clap and I want to make some more room for the kick in 808 so I'm going to take the low frequency transient of the clap which in my opinion sounds pretty muddy. I'm going to just scoop it out. Then I'll add a bit of click to make the clap hit a bit harder. Finally on my drum bus I want a bit more snap so I'm just going to add that in by adding a bit more click. And one thing that's great about click boom is that you can actually use it in parallel. Here I'm adjusting the mix knob to just turn it down a bit. Now let's hear our final before and after.
Hope you guys enjoyed this video talking about DJ Swizzle's techniques and click boom. If you are interested in purchasing click boom, you can use the link in the description below and help support my channel. If you like content like this, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you all later.